so guys it's really simple so here we have our text select the text layer then click on the pen tool to make custom path so single left click left click and drag left click drag as we have our path now now select the text layer again extend it extend the text then we have path option extend the mask so we have one mask this path is known as mask one now change the path from none to max one now if we change the force alignment from off to on this is scale it down our text letter will distribute around the whole path as you can see here let's turn it off again now how can we animate it it's really simple we need to change the first margin so let's make a keyframe here single click on the watch let's go to like uh, four second four to three second change the location let's run it again let's delete our path so our path is mask one select the path then delete now suppose we have an icon here just like this and put text around the icon so for that just select the text then again shape layer let's select the eclipse tool press and hold shift so this is masking our text now don't worry about that extend the text our max name is same mask one because we deleted the previous one so path option path change it to max one now we have all of our text inside the circle to move it on surface change reverse path from off to on same as before if we change the force alignment from off to on let us distribute it around the whole surface of the path if we want to animate now we will have some problem but there is only one manual solution for that let's change it back to zero force alignment off text tool double click and select all of the text and resize it before animation so let's change the size then the gaps or the width of the text think we are done now let's do the animation we can do the animation manually like before or there is another option hold alt then left click on the first margin stopwatch and in the expression box type type time into 200 which means the value of first margin will increase 200 per second so let's try it click on somewhere else run it again so now we have our cool animation so thank you guys see you on the next tutorial